further. Okay, so we moved a little bit further away from the distractions. Good job. Can you see your was tangled up? Good boy. Tail's nice and high. When you say nice and high, is like really high tail. So he's a little bit, a little bit excited. Let's see if I can get him back to settling again. Still wiggly, loose, but still high. Yes. See if I can get him to calm down. Definitely sit. Good job. Yes. Good job. And I'm going to put the treats here. And I'm going to offer a treat from the bowl. Yes. And I'm going to do a pet. Pet. Yes. And as long as he's sitting down and laying down, he's going to keep getting treats from the bowl. Pet. Yeah, good boy. It's almost like he's opting in, right? As long as he's looking at the bowl. Pet. Yes. Good job. Pet. And then the bowls treats again. Right? So what he did there was he decided, no, I'm I'm done with you petting me. I would like to stand up. So it's a variation, it's a it's not a variation, it is bucket game, but you're using bucket game for teaching him that people might come over and stroke him when we're playing this game. And I love that he made that choice. He's like, I I'm done. I, I don't want to play anymore. He's Now he's voting again. He wants to play. So he's sitting. So I'm going to offer the treat down low just to get him in a lying down position. I'm going to put some more treats in the bowl. Yes. And I'm going to lower the bowl onto the ground and I'm going to offer him some treats. And I know you guys can't really see that. And um, here you go, Alfie, go get it. So let's see if I can position myself a little bit better for you. So it's all about creating a start button. And when you say start button, he's saying, I'm ready to start the behavior. So if he comes over and he offers a sit and he's happy to lie down without me demanding that he does that, he's choosing, he's making a choice. Like you can do whatever you want, that's fine. But right now I've got a bowl of treats. If you want to opt in, this is what we're doing. If you want to play this game, what you have to do is either sit or lie down. But he's making that choice. Hey, bud. Hey. What'd you find? What'd you find? I'm gonna raise the bowl up. That's usually like a cue for him to that we're ready to play, we're ready to start the game again. And right now he's like choosing like, no, I think I'd rather sniff. I think this is a really good game to play with him as well with the bucket because as long as he's looking at the bowl and he's lying down, the treats are gonna keep happening no matter what I'm doing. Um, whether that's petting him or touching his feet or looking at his ears or trimming his nails or whatever it is. So you can do a lot of different behaviors with this game. And again, it's all about that freedom of choice. He's doing a little bit of sniffing, which is good. Yes. Yes. 
So we're back in the game. He's lying down. Bowl goes on the ground. Yes. And I'm gonna be like, what? Yes. And I just touched his ear, right? But he got a treat and he didn't get up. If he gets up, he's basically saying no, cut. Yes. Good job. Yes. And I'm just gonna move closer because he's a little bit further out of reach. Yes. Cut. And he's like, no, thank you. And so I stopped. I didn't I didn't force him to to continue. He just decided he wanted to pop up out of the lying down. And is, is, is his way of saying, no, thank you, please stop. So the bowl comes back up. And it's, when the bowl comes back up, it's basically saying, do you wanna play this game again? He's, he's totally choosing, he's totally opting out. He's standing up. I'm not, I think that's a good choice that he's making. If he wants to play, he'll decide and he'll come back. Let me just make sure I've got some treats in there. Oh my goodness. You wanna keep playing? I'd like to try one more time. Still choosing to opt out, which is fine. The tail's nice and relaxed. He's doing a lot of sniffing and breathing, which is a really good choice. Good job. Good job. Cut. And he's like, no, thank you. Game stopped. What is he going to decide? He's going back down. Good job. Can I pet you? He's like, no, thank you. He sat up. He's gone back down. Yes. Good job. Cut. Yeah, good boy. Can I pet you? No, thank you. <laughs> and this is this is new probably for him because he's played bucket game before, but he's not had this level added to it. <laughs> Take it. And I'm just like, he did a good job, so I'm gonna let him have what's in the bowl. Good job. Good boy, Alfie. That was so good. That was so good. Do you need some water? Good job. I guess I'm very thirsty. treats that I use are a little bit dry. I actually use a mixture of, um, today we did, we, I used a mixture of Happy Howie's and Zee Peeps, which is a um, fancy dried, air dried dog food. Um, but it makes me feel better that he's getting some medium value stuff that's a little bit more um, like junk food, like the Happy Howie's meat roll, even though it's really good, like protein and stuff. Um, and then he's getting dog food, which should be a complete diet. So um, 
he's working for essentially fancy kibble outside, which is fantastic. Um, I think if you can train with your dog outside and um, around distractions for fancy kibble, like that's probably go-to because it's not full of extra junk and processed stuff and it's um, good ingredients. It's not gonna cause him to gain weight, although he's a puppy and he's still growing, so I'm not really worried about his weight gain and it's like his body condition is great like I can still see his waist he's not overly overly obese I can still see a couple of his ribs like good big good healthy condition he's like no I'm done I do I do oh my goodness healthy are you so good this is so good, huh, bud? Good boy. Yeah, good boy. Yes, you are. You're so good. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And he likes, like, I know he like he's like a social dog. He'll, he'll go with the petting. But you can see, like, when I pet him, his tail's, like, high. So it's like, yeah, good job. And he's doing a little bit of sniffing. But he's still curving back into me. Body language is still curving back into me. So... He's accepting the pets, but then he walked away. So it was like, no, I'm done with the pets. Thank you. Good job. And I think with the high tail, it's, it's either a little bit of excitement or... Um, I mean, can I pet you? Can I pet you? Oh my goodness. And then I stop to see what does he want. It's not really, he's not really coming back for more cuddles. Good job. Like he's okay with it, but it's not. He'd much rather I bring out the big bag of treats. <laughs> oh, good boys. Can I pet you? Can I pet you? That was a little bit nicer. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Can I pet you? Good job. And it's like kind of a little bit of like I'm gonna lick you and walk away. So it's like kiss and dismiss. And being dismissed. <laughs> but that's why we like doing the consent the consent pets like five seconds and check body language, right? A little bit of shake off there. Good boy. Still high tail. Good job. Licking lips. Good job. So it's like a little bit of tense, a little bit of frustration, a little bit of stress. He's not overly stressed. He's still under threshold. Um, you know, he's, he's, and when I say threshold, he's like still below his limit. Good boy. And then his limit is like, I can handle a couple of people. I can handle dogs. As long as they're not approaching me too closely, as long as they're not touching me, as long as there's not trucks going by and they're five feet away and they're making lots of noise. So I'm just making sure that he stays under that limit. He never goes above and tips over that limit. He's making really good choices right now. He just picked up a stick and started chewing. Good boy. What do you do? Good job. 